there's a lot of vanilla production in the world, which is mostly a traditional production systems in, in the tropics. Uh, but to really uh, control the environment and, to, and then to know kind of what set points actually are better or, or you know, more controlled than in an open field uh, has, has not been done before. It is important to, uh, to I guess, challenge the, 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 the vanillin sector to develop. It is important for greenhouse horticulture in the Netherlands to find new earning models. It is important for the market uh, as a whole. Uh, so we, we work in our consortium, there's a grower that uses geothermic heat, so a very sustainable uh, heat source. Um, so th through that and in that we, uh, we just further make a sustainable product. We managed to grow the vanilla here through, through indeed a, a, a good balance of irrigation, of humidity, um, of overhead uh, sprinkling, so, so yeah, you know, you see those, these air roots, they need, they need to get nutrition and water, um, but you don't want to over irrigate it because you'll get a lot of, lot of molds in the greenhouse. Well, that balance uh, is, is uh, well, was the trick and was, you know, the, the focal point of our research. I think we, we managed to, uh, to grow a very uniform uh, product. Um, it's, it's more controlled, definitely in the supply chain. Um, you know, we can, we can be a, a reliable partner. We have a, a better expectation of what we produce in terms of volumes and quality. Um, and especially you know, when you trade with, uh, with Western partners, we're an easier uh, partner to work with.